Hey road trippers, so today we're gonna go Easter egg hunting, but it's not really Easter egg hunting, and it's something the whole family can do, and you can do it all year round, and you can do it all around the world. This is Let's Go Road Trip, and where I help you escape your day for a little bit, and then I encourage you to get outside and just explore it. Today, we're talking about geocaching. Geocaching is something I used to do with my dad, and if you just Google geocaching, and I'll spell it out right here, you just Google it and you can actually get an app that helps you geocache. Some of these are really hard to find. Some of these are extremely easy to find. We're going with easy right now. In this park, there's actually two of them. They both look relatively easy to find. One of them looks a little bit more difficult uh, because the clue doesn't really help me out much and it says the type of container it's in and I really don't know what that looks like because I haven't done this in such a long time. And the things changed because back when I did it, we didn't have smartphones. It wasn't that easy. We actually had handheld GPS's that my dad had purchased for a couple of hundred dollars, I think, or more, I don't remember. And we used those to go find them because all it would do is give you coordinates and you'd have to go hunt them down. Some of them are very difficult because you could actually have to climb a mountain to find it. You might have to go canoeing to find it. You might need a boat. You might need climbing gear. You might need scuba gear. You know, you don't know, but some of them, but the majority of them, are relatively easy to find. They'll tell you in the app. It tells you how easy it is. But right now, let's go find the two that are in this park. I'm hoping I can find both of them, and I'm not sure. I think one of them I'm going to find relatively easy. So let's go. I'm not really sure where this one is. Um, I know that it was found recently, so I know that it's here somewhere. I mean, it was found just like last week or a few days ago. So I know it's around here somewhere. But since I'm not extremely good at this yet, because I haven't done this in a long time, I'm not really sure what the clue means. I'm not sure what a, a buffalo tube is. So I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, which is kind of the point. It's kind of a, it is a hunt. This one says it's easy to find. Um, I guess I'm the idiot. Let's go and see if I can find the other one, because apparently that one's a lot easier. And I think I already know where it's at nice thing about this is it gets you and the whole family out or just you out and you're outside you're exploring the world or exploring whatever part of the world you want and you can do this in many places around the world and get you out and get you some exercise which I desperately need and my guess is that the uh, number refers to something specific and I'm sure I check this out so we're just walking over to it right now now the one thing you need to do is you need to bring a pen and I forgot to bring a pen or a pencil and I can't actually log my name in this but I did find it so it is pretty this one was pretty easy I mean once I figured it out that I passed it and I came back it wasn't too bad um, so, but, and I logged it and uh, the problem is I don't have a pen or pencil to write my name so I'm gonna just take a picture and hopefully they believe me that I found it these are a lot of fun to do it's it's something you can do that's family friendly it's uh, group friendly you can do this with you know a group of friends or whatever just make sure that you're respectful of wherever it's at you don't want to uh, You don't want to damage property. You don't want to go trespassing. Some of them actually say stealthy, which means you're near or maybe going onto private property. I don't generally like to do those because that means you have to be stealthy. And uh, that means sneaky, and I don't like sneaky stuff. But that's me. When you're out doing these, you do want to make sure you dress for the occasion. Some of them are not as easy as this one. Uh, some of them you have to go hiking. Some of them you have to really kind of get out and do things and, and hike and mountain climb and there are some you need a canoe and it will the app will tell you if you need something special to go and get these uh, some of them are in cemeteries some of them are in parks some of them are in you know shopping small parking lots um, there's there's a lot of different places you can find them and you can find them all around the world which means you can go Easter egg hunting any time of the year we do like to call it geocaching, though. 
these things can be a challenge they can be very easy and that's why it's good for the whole family you can kind of look and see in your area and I'll bet if you download this app you'll probably find a couple that are already in your area and if you get really good at this or when you've done this a long time then you can become someone who hides them I mean you can do that now but you could become someone who hides them and be really good at it and, and it's just kind of fun I really find this a really fun thing to do, a nice get you outdoors, get you walking, get you out exploring, all of the things that you really need to do and to get out and just get some fresh air and enjoy life. And again, it's something that you can still use your phone for, but you don't, you're not, you're not in your phone the whole time. Now this is the second time this year I've actually gone geocaching and the first time I did go with Neil. Unfortunately, that was the video that the quality just, it just sucked. I would, that is not the kind of quality of video I want to put out. So I had to scrap that whole thing. So I, and I was going to hope to do this with him today uh, or this weekend or whatever. And one thing led to another and it just wasn't going to happen. But I do think I want to make a series of this geocaching and maybe go around and find some more of these and have you guys join me for the little trip. Now, of course, I am not going to ever show where these geocaches actually are. I'm not going to show the hidden spot. I'm not going to give any clues. That is something that's kind of frowned upon in the community. You know, it's all about you finding it and you exploring it. And that's what I really enjoy. When my dad and I did it, we were all over Southwest Michigan and he's done it. He had gone all over the U.S. and done it with his wife many times. And I have rambled on way too much. Go ahead and run over that like button if you like the video. Share this with other people you think might want to go geocaching. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. All the stuff that everybody says. And check out on the screen here. There's a couple more videos that you might like to see. And after that, it's time for you to get outside and just explore it. Until next time, safe travels.